dear friends, welcome. Of course, Diane and I hope you already have an amazing day so far. For everyone who is new here, welcome. My name is Iani and I'm doing this DIY channel together with Diane. If you like this content, you like a little bit of laughter and of course a little bit of chaos, you are at the right place. If you do, I hope you will consider subscribing to our channel, give us a thumbs up and click the bell button so you will be notified every time we upload new DIYs. So enough talking for today, we are going to make two new seasonal DIYs. I hope you come along with me, so let's join the fun! Hey, Diane here with a new DIY. Today I'm going to use this canvas here in a heart shape. This one was from the Action, I believe it was one or two euros, nothing more than that. And the Action is a, a shop here in the Netherlands, which is similar to Dollar Tree in the US. And uh, yeah, I'm going to use this one today. I also have a sharp knife with me, because what I'm going to do, of course, first turn it open. We're not going to use the canvas today. Just going to get rid of all these staples here at the back and get rid of the canvas itself too. Because there is always, you can see it here, a nice wooden frame behind it. And that's what we're going for today. So what I always do, carefully cut here, cut the canvas loose, and then you can just pull off the front, and here the back part you need to um, tie really hard, and then the staples will come loose. Oh, here it is. Here you have your wooden heart frame. And uh, yeah, I'm going to make an ornament which you can put in a wreath or just hang up behind the window, whatever you want. Um, there are some parts here at the back that didn't want to get loose. I don't know why. Tried to do it with uh, scissors, but nothing helped. That is a shame. Uh, I'm going to give this thing a color. I think I'm going to make it black because, yeah, you know, here are some kind of puzzle things so it can stick together. But I think that is not what I like, and I don't want them to be that much visible. So therefore, I'm going to paint it black. Hopefully, then it will get easier to you know get rid of these things when you're looking at that DIY. We have a brush and some black paint. I first, need to shake it, and then we can apply it upon the heart. wooden heart is almost dry. I really love the shape of it. And I um, like to decorate the outside part with this rope. Hopefully it will work. And uh, I'm going to use the glue gun for this job. Here it is. Let me first start off with adding a really big dot of glue here. Because that's where I'm going to start. Now I'm going to press the rope in that place. Hold it for a few seconds, then I'm going to carefully, you know, roll it further. And here and there, just adding some dots of glue. Yeah, I think this will work. Wonderful. I'm going to lay it down flat, and hopefully it will work. Well, here at this point, for example, again, so there will be, I think, the most tension upon this part of the heart. Really big dot of glue. And then pull it quite tight. Hold both the parts that I just glued. May, it might be still warm and then, uh, you know, it lets loose. For a few seconds, I'm going to repeat those steps around the... Now the bottom section here might be pretty hard to complete. Hopefully it will work with the scissors, otherwise I have to unwind the rope. I'm going to cut it here, just in the same line with the bottom part of the other side. Yeah, well there is some progress, but not too much. So carefully unwind this thing. Now I'll also be able to cut it out better. Good. So now it has been cut here, as you can see. And let me first 
glue here just near the edge not completely around the edge because I first want to tie down the rope to the wood and then I'm going to cut here so following this line here up till there and I think then yeah we'll be there might be necessary you know to put a little bit of glue on the rope to stop folding and winding it because this is how I cut it out just several pieces of twine I'm not going to throw this away this might come of use later I don't know but maybe I don't need it and then we we'll can always throw it away after well it's almost there just going to glue a little bit between the strings of the rope and by doing that hopefully then we can hold it together just like I said glowing in between or gluing in between here so now you don't see ugly oh, my fingers are dirty you don't see ugly glue parts it is just inside and uh, yeah I think it gives a really nice farmhouse touch to this project right well I think the outside part is done uh, you can also do this on the inside but I don't know if I like that uh, maybe then it gets, you know, a little bit too much brown. Don't know that yet. But I want to skip to the next step. Let's turn off the glue gun. Because I have some really cute birdhouses here. Now these costed a euro each, also from Action. And I thought it would be nice to glue them around somewhere here. You know, might be, you might do that or another place or... Wherever you like it here totally up to you so i thought those might be of use i also found something else it is a sign but i don't know if it will fit here in the right size so i'm going to grab that and then i will show it to you here is the wooden sign also with the same rope this i think it was on sale for 50 euro cents at a garden center and uh, yeah i thought it would be fun to look like this is hanging inside of the heart and then place it somewhere down here but i don't like the uh, print it's just this way and it's not how i want to have it inside of my heart so i think i'm going to give this thing a repaint and uh yeah we'll see how that turns out let's turn this array and then we're going to restyle this one here next up i have a foam paint roller and i also have a can of white paint and the lid is ooh, pretty much covered in paint. Now, what I want to do is use a sponge to, you know, dab around here in the middle. And uh, yeah, do I need a brush for that as well? I don't know. First, I'm going to do this. Wait, I'm just going to show you. Oh, will it stay here? Now, cover it in paint. And then first, let's dab this way. look now you get a really worn look we're covering up the letters as well let's move it around sideways a little bit of course you can just use a sponge brush as well but i don't have that at home <laughs> and i do have these so yeah i think this is a pretty nice solution also use is pretty good for distressing by the way look now the edges get distressed as well nice quite a difference well of course we need an extra layer because you can see, see through those other letters well i think the start is here okay now let's let this dry i'm going to add a little more layers so you we're going to cover up these letters here because I really want to get rid of those. Yeah, just like this. And, and multiple layers, uh, let them centered out, let them be centered out. You can also use the top section of this paint roller, just like this, to you know create more round shapes and center your paint because look at the coverage. This part is now having multiple layers, and uh, yeah, it sticks really well. I'm going to repeat it, let everything dry, add a few layers again, and then we'll be back with this, you know, distressed sign. The transformation is complete. 
you can't see the letters anymore but i really love the style of this sign now what a foam roller can do well i think i'm also going to paint those two bird houses i am going to make them white as well i really like that color now let's grab the can of paint again and let's go painting here and of course we need a brush as well i'm going to grab a tiny one so otherwise i can't reach the uh you know the small places i'm taking one here with this tip a sharp one because otherwise she can't get properly here underneath the roof part We're back. The birdhouses are now white. Only the rooftops, I didn't paint them. And oh, I still also need to remove. Where did I put my scissors? Oh, already put them away. Still need to remove those uh, hoops here on the top. So I'm going to cut those off first. Like that. And uh, yeah, I'd like to give it a nice pop of color. So I have this green moss green chalk paint here and I'm going to paint those rooftops in a green color because I think that is a nice spring color because everything gets green in that season it also works for Easter by the way the color of green grass and everything and I'm going to paint the roofs Now it is beeswax time because those houses here are really cute but I think they look a little bit too perfect compared to the rest of the you know the project so I have my worn brush here my beeswax brush I'm going to dab into the lid to get rid of the excess beeswax just like so and I'm going to start, well, let me first start with the back so we can practice a little bit. Well, at least this bottom section is looking great with bee wax upon it. So I'm just starting here to get rid of the most bee wax that is upon my brush. And then, when I think I've lost enough bee wax, then we go further to the rest of the house. Like so. Then we can start doing it here. And here as well. Just up on the edges. Maybe here a little bit on the inside. Oh well, there he goes. And then once you're busy. There it is. Just some distress in. Doesn't have to be that much. Just whatever you like. Here it is. Just do it your way, then it will always succeed. Now, I have two pretty farmhouse bird houses, and I think we're going to put everything together. So the glue gun is back here. And uh, yeah, I thought it was a fun idea. I hope you can see it. Let's put these away a little bit. That you have the heart that you, you know, sort of hang up the sign here in the top of the heart here. So I'm going to pour some glue in the center. Not too much because it's not really going to hang there. No. Let's glue the rope to this part, hold it for a few seconds and then we can start applying the rest of the sign so let's say with a little glue here and a little bit there I think that should be enough don't pull too hard 
these might get loose. Beautiful. Hello. I think I'm going to just put this one here. And the other one might be there or there or yeah, whatever you like. Just play a little bit with how you position it. And then you're also gluing this to your um, your wood. Okay, gluing this wasn't the best idea. So I just took out Lynn. It is back here, the sticky gum. Warmed it up between my fingers and now it looks like chewing gum. So that's why we call it sticky gum. But it's actually being called glue pads. But sticky gum is a nicer word. Okay, let's split that up in two. Make a nice little dot out of it and then push it on the back of your house don't push too hard because the roof and the bottom here are pointing outwards now i'm just going to carefully yeah i made it too small okay so push it up a little bit i'm going to carefully press it upon the wood does it stick yes i'm going to repeat the other step here as well this one will be here. It doesn't look really solid, but believe me, it is. Look, you can shake with it and uh, everything goes still right. So that is good too. Along with the sticky gum. Uh, I think we're almost there. Only want to have some letters here. So I have some, ooh, some wooden letters. And uh, I think I'm going to make something like Hello Spring or Welcome Spring, something like that. Yeah, let's figure out what I want. Okay, to be honest, I'm not really sure what I should write down on the board. Before that, uh, I think I time to add some greenery. And I thought this would be perfect for the farmhouse look. So I'm just going to glue several of these together to cover up this piece here because I think it's pretty blank there. Now... I should have first put on the greenery and then put on the board, but yeah, I can't change it anymore. So I think it is a good idea to start gluing it down. Oh, there is a big drop here. Let me see what is the front side with this part. So I'm going to glue here and also here upon the biggest branch. And now the big spider web. Carefully going to tuck it here. Let's see, will this hold? Because if it does, then I can attach more of these same greenery parts. Yeah, it works. Good. Now I'm going to stick something more underneath it. Just by gluing it to the branches. And here, a big dot of glue. I'm going to carefully put it behind. Oh gosh, yep. Yeah. Behind here. Now I think I'm going to need one extra string for this side here or something. Something like this. So I'm going to play a little bit with it and then we can cover up this side as well because, yeah, this is just too dark for me. Look. I love the greenery this way, just like it's becoming, you know, appearing from the back of the um, the sign here. Yeah, maybe I can use a little bow here. I was thinking about that using this one here. That might be a nice idea. Oh, there is a knot in here. So I'm going to make a tiny one because I don't want it to be big and elegant and glamorous. No. Just wanted to keep it natural, and I think this is a perfect... Oh, this looks cool as well. Yeah, but that won't work because you have a point here. Okay, otherwise this would have been also a nice idea. Um, yeah, I still can do that afterwards. I'm going to make a small bow, and therefore I'm only using my fingers. So you keep your fingers like this. I'm going to stand up because then I can show it to you better. Wrap it around once, maybe twice. The further you keep your fingers apart, the bigger the bow is going to be. Then you have this one here. You're going to tuck it in here, completely behind. Keep your thumb here because you're also going to need to do a tuck. 
than here. If you want a, a more detailed description of this process, send me a message. Pull this one really hard, not this one, because you're going to unwind it. And now you have a really small, nice, cute bow. Like I said, if you need the complete uh, tutorial of this, just send me a link or a write down a comment. I mean, and then I will show you the video because that's how I've learned it. And I'm, yeah, I really like this way of making a bow. It's, yeah, once you know the trick, it's pretty easy and it works with almost every kind of ribbon. I think we're going to hang this here, maybe with smaller fish tails. And it is a really sweet bow, but not too much, in my opinion. Gave the bow some fish tails here. And now the only thing you have to do is look where the knotted part is. This is the ugly part. This is the nice part, the nice size. This is the ugly size. So glue down here with your glue gun. Not too much. Let me stand up and put it on top of where you want it to be. Now, this is a double bow, which means you can pull these apart. So you get a little bit bigger bow, a double one. And that looks like this. Instead of having one, you now have two bows. I think that looks perfect together. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with how it looks. All you need to do to sign. Here is the final result. The only thing I added were the letters. Just put some hot glue on the back. Nothing really special, but it gives a nice finishing touch that we were looking for today. I also love these bird houses. A little bit distressed, not too much. And I'm happy to share that I found that new distressing technique with the sponge, with the foam roller, and I love those tiny bowl here and the greenery really make the farmhouse look complete well that's an easy DIY of wood you can style it the way you want it just giving you inspiration and jenny and i hope you had fun watching this DIY and before we go further to our next DIY, I have to tell you that this video is also part of a beautiful get-together which is called What Would You Make? This get-together is hosted by the beautiful Zena from OK At Home DIY and the beautiful Connie from Connie Creative Creations. And the guest host for this month is, of course, Tammy from Happiness Created. I will place a link down below with the playlist and, of course, also with the ladies, their beautiful channel, so go check Check it out, you won't be sorry, so I hope you enjoy this. And for now, let's go further to our next DIY. Here you see already the main things we need for this DIY. We need a couple of thumbnail towel blocks. I have two packages, but we don't need two in totally. You can buy them anywhere at Dollar Tree, Dollarama, and even maybe in a thrift store. I ordered this one online. And of course our glue gum so you can use any glue but i will use my glue gum later on we need uh, a print and we are going to need a couple of our faux branches but you will see that later you see already i have the blocks on my table my glue gun is already ready what we're going to do first we're going to make two pairs of two uh, blocks like this just Place them together and squeeze it and press it down. This is already number one. We are going to do for number two. Like this. And what we're going to do right now, we are going to get block number three. Like this. This is one. And place it against each other like this. And we're going to do number three. And also from the pieces of Three, we are going to make two sets so again we have a set of two like here we will have a set of three and again we are going to go for another set of three like this and squeeze it and press it down and this one of course I need some glue again that's also one of DIY you always always need some glue in your glue gun like this now we have a two now we go for number four and we also need 
two of number four. So this is one of number four. We are going to do the second one. And what I was saying that we in the Netherlands we call it a uh, bijenkorf. So the Dutch word of the day of this video will be bijenkorf. And you call it a behave, if I am correct. So we go for number three, like this. Squeeze it and press it down, like this. And the last one, of course, like this. Place it, squeeze it and press it down. This is number four. And we removing immediately the glue we don't need. Like this. It takes a little bit more of your time to do it in me, uh, right away. But you later on you will be very happy that you did all the glue away in front. Because you will have lots of work to do it later. What I'm going to do again. And this is very boring probably. I understand that totally. But for everyone who wants to join me and do this DIY also. For the spring season that's why i do it step by step and i am loving to show you how it is made and even the mistakes i make that means that you don't have to make them already because i made them already for you so this is number four like this and squeeze it that it is on the same and now a number five we also need again two of five and then we're going to do the next step so this is already in number one of the series and we are going to do the last of the series but what i was telling if you this is much too boring for you please skip forward i understand totally of course i hope you don't but <laughs> i understand it sometimes time is precious and maybe you have something better to do than Listen to me in my half English, half, half Dutch to tell you what to do, <laughs> what, what to do. But of course, I hope you stay and enjoy what you see. So like this, and this is number five. So now we are ready, far away with our DOI. So sets of two of two, two of three, two of four, and two of Five. For our next step, we take again the blocks and we are going to do uh, again on the sideways and we are going to press them together again like this and we are going to make two of six. But this will be the middle point of our behave like this, squeeze it, press it down and remove your glue. This is number three, and now we're going to do a number four, like this, squeeze it, press it down, and number five, like this, and I'm trying to do it as best as I can, like this, number six, the last one. This will be the middle piece of our behave. And this will also be a little bit of a center which we will use as kind of a display. This will be the, yeah, I don't know what you call the center of where the queen normally sits. I don't know how you call the middle of a behave. But I want to do it a little bit different than the normal behaves. I am always a little bit different than, <laughs> than other people. So I'm sorry, bear with me. <laughs> I always do things a little bit different, but I always try to make it on a budget and very easy and fast. At least you wouldn't say it right now when you see me <laughs> struggling. But of course, number five and the last one. And then we are going to put it together like this. This is the second one of six, like this. You see, this is the bigger one, but this will be the middle piece of our behave. What we're going to do, we are going to take two of our blocks and we are going to lay this one down. We are going to do one on this end and we're going to do one 
exactly on this end. I will show it to you. And then I show it to you also a little bit closer. So you really can see what I did. And like this. This is one. And this will be the second one. Like this. And place it on the end. And like this. And this is what I mean. You place it exactly on the ends. Now we are going to take blocks like this. And you see here, we have one, two, three, four blocks, which is not uh, doesn't have any blocks on top of it. I think I it's really bad English what I'm saying, but I hope you understand what I mean. This block is used, this block is used uh, with this one and this with this one. So we have four blank blocks. On the four black blocks, we are going to, going to do uh, each block in the middle of one of the blocks. So I'm just going to glue it and then I show you. That's better than I explain it to you in my Dutch and English <laughs> together. So I'm going to place it in the middle like this. And I'm going to do this one also in the middle. Have a second and I will show it to you. Again, try to get it in the middle, like this. And we're going to do this one, the third one, and then we're going to do the last one, like this. Again, in the middle and squeeze it down. And we're going to do the last over here and also in the middle of this one. And I... And now you see already, this is what I mean. You place it just in the middle. Now you get a nice little, uh, this one is a bigger opening, these two, this two, and this one are exactly on the same height. What we're going to do, again, we take the other block of six, like this one, and we're going to place it and glue it on top of here. So what we're going to do, we have to do some glue on this side, on this side, on this, of course, on this one. This will be a little bit tricky with your glue gun because you get a lot of wires and like this. And what we're going to do, we are going to place it on top of here, lay it down and press it on top of each other like this, real hard. And you see, this is what I mean. Now you get a nice, it looks uh, almost like... Um, how you call it um here in the netherlands we call it an um i don't know i have to <laughs> i have to look it up how you call it in english <laughs> you see this is the middle piece of our behave we are going to glue now the pieces of five we are going to glue exactly in the middle like here and the other one on this side like this so I'm going to glue it. So I'm getting my glue and I'm just going to go over the corners like this and like here and this way and do it this way. You can also use something else, but I'm just going to use this glue. We are going to place it in the middle of our little piece. You see, this is what I mean. You have an opening over here on the tops. You see here, and now we're going to do the other one, the same. Just do some glue over here, and do some glue over here, and on this side. And of course, I need some glue again. Always, when I'm filming, I need some glue again. I'm sorry, this is a little bit of a chaos today. And it is probably because it is Monday. <laughs> And like this, we have already have the five pieces on top of here. Now we're going to take the four pieces. And again, like this. Go over it. Like this. Do some glue over where you will need it. And again, place it in between. Like this. Over here. And squeeze it real hard. And this way we are going to do the other one and again just place 
and blue over here and over here and over here and like this and in a little bit in, in the middle and we're going to place it on this side and also again in the middle like this and it's getting bigger and bigger and now you're probably wondering why is this the little holes inside of your behave but you will see that later and now i'm going to do the third with the blocks like this and i'm going to do a little bit in the middle and i'm going to place it again on top of here like this and we're going to do the other one and like this and then you get your own little unique behave because a behave is very yeah, very easy to make but you want to try also to do it a little bit different than everyone else has so again squeeze it and press it down and now we only need the two piece over here like this and we are almost there bear with me have some patience <laughs> and i know i asking a lot of patience of you from you so again squeeze it and press it down and like this this is the two and the last of the two oh. <laughs> even my my hands are already <laughs> finished with this <laughs> so you see like this and we're going to place it again like the, on this side also in the middle squeeze it and now when you did this you already have a big part of your behave i'm going to take one of my blocks for the underside like this like this and place it on the bottom and squeeze it real hard like this now we already have the bottom now we need the top so, and of course the last block we, we need for the top we are going to place in the middle of this two like this and squeeze it and press it down and now we already have a base of our behave so what we're going to do the next step we are going to do it in some furniture wax and of course we are going to give it the top with some rope so for the next step i did a little piece of kitchen towel under it because the furniture wax is very hard to get out of my placemat so i will use some very cheap brand just uh, it's almost already, already done but i'm going to use always the cheap brand furniture wax so don't pay too much what we're going to do we just give it a nice rustic look because the behave or buying curve, like we say here, is always having a nice a brown rustic look. So I will do everything totally in the furniture wax and then we're going to do the next step. Here you see already I have the behave totally in the furniture wax but take your time for it and especially in between the little openings just make sure that you try to get all of everywhere some furniture wax then it looks a little bit nicer when you are going to use it in your decor. So I will let it dry for a couple of maybe one hour because I always love that my furniture wax is really uh, yeah, sucking into the wood and then I'm taking a kitchen towel then we're going to wipe everything we don't need of our piece. So but don't try like I said the middle pieces make a little bit time for it that you have everything in the furniture wax. And you see already our behave is already finished at least the base is finished. Uh, he is dried up with the furniture wax. What we're going to do, we take a piece of our kitchen towel and we just go over and wipe all the things we don't need off. So just go over it and do make it the color you like. And of course, my furniture wax was a little bit darker, but you also can use a little bit of the lighter furniture wax. So do whatever is your um, privilege. So. I'm just going to always go a little bit more for the rusty color, like this. 
and it will be a very different behave <laughs> with our little openings not on the underside but of course a little bit over here but i am a little bit <laughs> little bit uh, different so like this i will finish this off and then we're going to give it a, a twine on top now he is uh, neat and cleaned. At least we don't have the, too much furniture wax on top of here. I take my uh, piece of a rope. I always buy them in a, a very long piece. So I have a, a little bit of the thicker one. You can already see it. And what I'm going to do, at least I hope I'm going to give it a knot like this on the underside. And I hope that it will turn out the way I have it in my head but not every time and everything which i have in my head will work out like this and i'm going to do some glue in between the places over here so give it a study uh, look and then i'm going to cut off this little piece because i want to glue it on top of our behave so i do my glue gun uh, on and i'm going to place a little bit of glue like i said in between here just in between here, just like a couple of times. And then we are going to uh, cut off the rest of our piece. So I'm going to do some glue over here. And just place your glue gun inside of the rope like this. And just squeeze it on top of here so your rope stays in place like this. Just do a little bit of glue in it. And just squeeze it like this so when you cut it off it won't fall apart at least i hope it doesn't maybe it needs a little bit of glue more like here a little bit in between you can't do too much because if you have a little bit of the thicker rope you won't see it of course i have to remove the wires immediately like this and i have to squeeze it together like this and now I'm going to try to cut off the most of my, of course, I hope you have a bit, <laughs> you have a better scissor than I have. <laughs> this can take an hour. So if you have uh, more time and you have nothing to do on the, on the <laughs> then you just can stick around and just see me struggling with my rope like this and just make it as flat as you can and now i even have <laughs> i'm stuck with my fingers in my scissors but don't worry <laughs> what i'm going to do i'm going to place this on top of here and glue it together you see already i have my rope uh, cut off and i did also a little knot uh, under it so uh, at least on the end piece uh, what I'm going to do, I want to have some tags uh, hanging around here, of course, with something yellow and a little bit in the B style. So I will take you now to my computer and we are going to make our... And here you see already the little tags we made. Of course, they are very little because I want to have them on a tumbling towel block. This is the size I used. So I'm going to cut them out, both out, these two and these two, because I'm going to do the front and the back side uh, the same. Because if they turn around, you always have a nice uh, tag to look to. So I'm going to cut out both of them on this side. And of course, this one was uh, extra. I don't know if I will use it, we will see, but now I'm going to do for this one. So you see already on my table, four of my tumbling tower blocks, the same I use for my behave. What I'm going to do, I'm using my very simple mud pots, but you can use school glue, whatever you uh, use. Of course, we just do the top with some mud pots like this. And everyone does it his own way, so go ahead, do whatever you think is right. And now we're going to glue them 
on top of our and I try not to get Mod Podge on the front of our tag because then it uh, keeps the matte finish and I like a matte finish but if you want a more shiny one go later when it's dried up over it so I keep it this way but I turn it over of course and I'm going to go, go over it also on this side oh at least if I <laughs> If I do some butt pots on my brush, <laughs> like this, I already take so much of your time. But bear with me, I hope you don't mind. Like this, and place it on top of here, like this. And I have to squeeze it a little bit downstairs. And you see already, now we already have our own first tag we can hang on the side. The tags are dried up but of course you see already the difference in wood. This is more uh, like a rusty color and this is a blank color and of course I could have done uh, first the fur furniture wax on top of here but then uh, your picture doesn't stick uh, the right uh, way so I always choose for doing it later so I take a, more of a pencil right now. It's just an old brush and I'm just going into the furniture wax and I'm just going to make this one also in the rusty color so he is fitting with our behave so i will do this out of camera because this and then i can do it fast forward so you know so just let it dry the a furniture wax a couple of uh and uh, not a couple of hours but <laughs> but at least an hour so it can uh, suck in a little bit and now i'm going over it again same like we did with the behave i'm going over it and just wipe the furniture wax which is too much away and even when you want to give it an, a more uh, rustic or distressed look just take your um, sanding paper and just sand off the lines then you even get an older uh, feeling i'm not going to do this this time but maybe a uh, next time so again do the sides the tops and this and we are ready for the next step will be we need some piece of twine like this what i'm going to do i take a piece of twine like I, because i want to hang it over my behave like here so it can hang on the sides like this so i take a little piece of my uh, twine i will cut it off like this and of course i need two pieces for the first one and for the second one like this and for to give it a nice finishing touch i take two of my beads like this and i will place my twine double up and of course i don't know if i am have it too long so i have to look i think it will be too long and then i'm going to do some glue in between and just squeeze it in like you have a nice ending and then we can uh, glue it on top of our little tag like this and then we have a nice own made tag and it is unique because you don't have a second one of it of course you can find <laughs> find this one pictures in my free printables down below in our description box in the main channel you have the free printables and of course also on this all about christmas channel you have the free printables so I will uh, have to measure out exactly what I'm doing, but then that is what I want. Now? <laughs> That's bad English. So I will finish this off. That's better. Now we have to do the finishing touch. And what I'm going to do, I use uh, my tags later. I lay them over here. What I'm going to do, I do in one of the little openings, I'm going to give it a little bit of a spring feeling because at least uh, when you have bees, it is in the spring summer season. So I take a couple of the white baby breath, if I am correctly, I have to put my, my behave away. I take two of this one. And of course, you can use anything you like. I take a little piece of black berries like this. 
and I take a couple of those wired uh, branches. You see already, this is very hidden. That is, it goes on a tree, it calls hazelaar. So I don't know how you call it in English, but at least I'm going to get a, a couple of them. You just very easy can get them off. The most at least of them. We are going to cut off and like this. We have a couple of them. We make a little bush with it. And of course I do this one and keep it in my fingers. And I think this one will be a little bit too big. So I will cut off a little piece because I want to have it a nice little uh, feeling with spring, but not a total, <laughs> not such a big, a big brush like this. Now I'm going to take a little piece of my berries, but I don't think I like this piece of the berries. So I'm going to look for uh, a nicer one. I have to look for it. I think I'm going for this piece like this it just needs a little touch i don't want to have it too much of the blackberries and now we are going to cut off the underside of our baby breast you see already it's a, a big piece of plastic so i'm going to cut it off like this and also squeeze it in my hand and i do also the end piece of the this piece of and place it also inside of here. What I'm going to do to finish off the little stems, I'm just going to take a piece of twine and I am going to get my glue gun and I place this aside like this so I don't glue anything else than the, under <laughs> the underside of our uh, little bush we use. And of course, we are going to do some glue on top of here. Yes, and I'm back again with really some glue <laughs> glue on top of here. I'm going to place my little piece of twine or rope, just how you call it, inside of here. Let it dry for a little moment before we go work with it. And of course, this always takes a little time when you have your camera running. And then we're going to turn over and just make a nice ending of our stem like this just turn around a couple of times like this just as much as you want to have it and like this and then we are going to cut off the twine like this and we are going to do some glue over here place the end piece of the twine in here and just be careful that you don't burn yourself I don't feel a lot in my fingers because with my arthritis, or at least I think you call it that way in English. So I don't feel a lot in my fingers anymore. So you see, now you have a nice ending of your little bush. And of course, you still can cut off the end pieces. I think that looks always a little bit nicer, like this. And now you can work a little bit with it, so it gives more of the springy feeling. And now we're going to place it in one of those little holes. And you can squeeze it inside like this. And now we're going to place our tags on this side. You see, I placed also the tags on the side. And now you see the end reveal. And here you see finally the end reveal of our old mate from Tumbling Tower Blocks, Behave. And of course you see it a little bit bad right now, so in a moment I show it to you a little bit closer. But I have to thank you all for being here and spending a little moment of your day together with Diane and me. We had so much fun doing this DIY together with you all. So uh, thank you so much. And if you like this content, of course, we hope you will consider subscribing to our main channel, Deco Easy. If you want to see lots and lots more DIYs, come on over to my all about christmas channel there you also find lots and lots inspiration for every season so enough talking i wish you all a beautiful beautiful day stay safe see you next time